also fan TV DT I don't know what to say man you know what I mean like we were out there 5-1 mm -hmm. Bayern you were really mad on the night a I was just <laughs> that's a surprise standing up there tonight just watching those goals going in and honest to God I felt that Bayern could have scored more I, I, I felt like they looked at him for you know what Nah, no, this is this is this is mm. too bad now. They took pity. Yeah, they took pity on us. They mm. did. It was like watching my boys under seven match, defending with schoolboy. Seriously, Robbie, we've got no leaders in that team. We've lost Koscielny twice, and we fell apart. Mm. What does that say about the mentality of this squad? They're bottle jobs. They're pussies. They've got nothing about them. All of them. I can't say anything good about is that a all? manager thing or is that a player thing? Both. Players have got to take some responsibility yep. here, haven't they? Because in the first half, we played pretty well. Yep. You never know. We could even have been two up. We, we, we should really have had a penalty, I understand. Mm. You know, it could have been... Listen, we were, I, I don't think we would ever have um, got mm. past them. I think they're a very good team. But it could have been so much different. But mm. once Koscielny come off, again, they've just sort of said, ah. Oh. Yeah. They started crying, didn't they? They it's, felt sorry for themselves. It's embarrassing and it's like... You look over the two legs and people will say, oh, the referee today and stuff like that. The damage was done in the first leg. Yeah. And that was the players and Wenger's fault. There's no excuses for that. You see what people are saying now. You see the march earlier. We're not quiet anymore. It's not just little old me with a banner and a few people that are scared. People are actually speaking up now. I pulled out the banner after the game. The thanks for the memories one. Totally quiet I was, never said a word, never even sung Wenger out, silent, just gave my opinion the best way I know how because no one else listens. And we were getting held abuse from certain people, spat at, and it's all on video, and it's all online. And I'm proud that I actually stood in the face of that and never reacted. Does that show you though that there's still though a lot of people that support Arsene Wenger? As like a silent, no. like a silent... Well, I, would, I wouldn't go as far as saying majority, mm -hmm. but there's a silent half. That's because there was still a lot of. I, I didn't hear any Wenger out chants inside the mm -hmm. ground. If I've heard Wenger out chants outside here today, but I didn't hear none of that inside Bobby, the ground. You also don't hear one Arsene Wenger in the stadium. <laughs> Where are they? These people that want to talk the talk. I back my talk. Yeah, but what I'm saying is... I want is, him out. So what I'm saying want, is, no, though, right? What, what I'm saying, saying is... No, but this is what I'm saying. A lot of people... There's Robbie, a Robbie. protest going on tonight. There's a protest. Yeah. It's pretty, very vocal. Yeah. Right? People... But inside the ground, mm -hmm. where you got the fans, the 60,000 fans inside the ground, I never heard one chant of Wenger out. Not one. I did. I did. Depends where you sit. I was I also, in the north, but I never I heard also, it. I also heard from the clock end um, songs about Stan Kroenke as well so telling you Robbie it is but there are still people that are scared to open their mouth they really are because you only have to look at what happened to me tonight you know a guy physically tried ripping the banner down and physically manhandling troops he didn't know after that did he you know and that's the thing we, that's what we have to face we're voicing our opinion and some people can't take it I think that some people it's not that they want Wenger to stay, it's that they believe the banner's disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I honestly, apart from Ty and Chris, I can't think of anyone that actually wanting to stay. You know, and it's... Well, then people who wanted to fight you and were spitting at you, they want him to stay. Well, they think, no, they, no it's not that they want him to stay, well, Robbie. Just, you're just saying they find the banner disrespectful. Yeah, and that's what they were shouting, and they were like, that's a disgrace, the banner's a disgrace. He what needs to better. happen for you now? What needs, needs to, to happen? He needs to go. He needs to go. He needs to come out. Arsene Wenger's holding this club to ransom. I'm telling you now because he's sitting there and saying, I'm deciding, I'm doing... Hold on a minute. You are a fucking employee. Remember that. Me, you, every single fan here is more important to Arsenal than Arsene Wenger. Because we, yeah, as fans, are the lifeblood of any club. Without fans, you're nothing. So, yeah, I am more important than Arsene Wenger. So are you. So is everyone else. Yeah, well said. Because when he's gone, will we still be here? Yeah. Well said. Before he came, was I still here? Yeah, I was. Because <laughs> I love Arsenal. Not Arsene. 1886, not 1996. 
and people need to fucking wake up and realise that. We're probably going to get into an FA Cup semi-final at the weekend. But listen, that, hey, listen, that really will turn. But, but we've been very lucky with the draw. Two non-league sides, yeah? Right now, do I think, I look at the other sides that are in the competition. Do I think that we could even beat Spurs at Wembley? No. Man City. Who else is in it? Chelsea. Do you, do you think we're going to beat them? United. United? <laughs> no. We ain't going to beat them. It's embarrassing, Robbie. Like I told you, you go through my videos from two, three years ago. I'm saying the same thing over and over and over and over. And people say, all he does is moan. All he does is moan. Because I see that. And now some of you are finally waking up. Oh, do you know what? Maybe he was right all along. Maybe there was a reason behind it. Because I see that. That's embarrassing. We moved from Highbury to there to compete with Bayern Munich. We've just lost 10-2 on aggregate. The whole of football is laughing at us right now. They're not laughing at me on Arsenal Fan TV. They're laughing at the performances on the pitch. Stop using other things to deflect away from Arsene Wenger. The whole Alexi Sanchez thing this week. You're telling me that wasn't a fucking PR spin by Arsenal? You tell it, how many of the media all got that story at once? How convenient. I think back to the whole Fabregas saga when uh, it all got leaked into the paper last game of the season that he went to uh, the Grand Prix. Where did that come from? The whole Robin Van Persie thing. Why do you think he came out first and done a statement on his website? And we all sat there at the time when we listened to Van Persie and went, snake, wanker, bastard. Now I'm sitting there and going, do you know what? Maybe he actually had a point. You know what I mean? And that's the thing, Robbie. And I'm starting to see, look, hold on, I think it's awesome ringing me now. But at the end of the day, this is, this is what it boils down to. Mm. I don't... Do you, let, let me I ask this to troops, I'm going to ask this to you. Yeah. Do you think he should go right now? Yeah. Or do you think he should, you know, at least... If what? he did, at least would you allow him till the end of the season? Do you know what? One or two things. If he turns around now and says, I'm leaving at the end of the season, yeah, then it will be a party here for the rest of the season, right? And it will probably pick up results. You know, you only have to look at um, Leicester. They were, I said at the time, I agreed with Ranieri sacking because they were in free fall. They got players on brand new contracts on hundreds of thousands a week. And the owners are looking at that and going, we can't go to the championship because that parachute money isn't going to help us. So they made the decision. They had the balls to make a decision. Look at their performances since they've sacked him. Oh, what a surprise. Careful what you wish for is what we're always told, Robbie. And people are now finally starting to see that maybe there is something better. But at the same time, a manager's not just going to be the only thing that fixes it. Half of that squad need to go. Half of that squad. Petacek's passed it. Aspina's not good enough. Bellerin needs to get off social media and start concentrating on his football. Mustafi, I don't know what the fuck's happened to him lately. Right? Koscielny's meant to be world class. I'll decide that on another day. Monreal, useless. Kieran Gibbs, not good enough. Aaron Ramsey, not good enough. Coquelin, I stuck up for him all the time, but it, lately you started to see how poor he really is. Bye-bye. Yeah. Shaka, you know what? I still give him a bit more time because he's only just come. All right? He's, he's just come. Oxlade-Chamberlain, if you would have told me, asked me six weeks ago, I'd have turned around and said, bye-bye. But you know what? That boy stood up. That boy stood up and he's manned up big time. So give him a chance. Yeah. Theo, he's been here 10 years. What's he done apart from grow a beard? <laughs> you know, and we've said that. And it's like, I don't want... You're going to have nobody left. You, 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 listen, you're just taking out the old listen, team. Listen, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I don't want all this nicety anymore. All this, oh, but you know, what did I say to you? When we played Sutton, Theo Walcott given, got given the captain's armband. He never Theo got... Walcott's probably one of our best players tonight. No, 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 tonight. That's great. You can play well one in five. Whoopie do. Yeah, I don't want that. I want a player that has the odd game where they off. You know, but the rest of the time they're on it, on it, on it. We we pay a lot of money, yeah. We're now spending money. We can get that caliber of play, uh, player. You look at how much Shaka cost. He costs more than Kante. Come on now, <laughs> Bayern Munich squad costs less than ours. Wake the fuck up. 
and realise what is going on, Robbie. We go to Lincoln, we'll beat them, we'll get to a semi-final, everyone have a wank and then start asking for <laughs> Arsenal to have a new two-year contract. It's finished, Robbie. It's done. It's finished. And please just ask some man up. Someone at that, in that club needs to say to him, come on, it's not, it's not doing you any good now. Walk away.